Since you guys really like my video compared to my shorts, I've decided to make more videos as detailed breakdowns of various builds and gameplay mechanics. However, I want to stay true to the promise of this channel, where you don't need more than 10 minutes to talk about a build. So with that, let's go straight to what this video is all about. The idea behind this build is to mimic the feeling of playing Counter-Strike using an AWP where you basically one-hit enemies wherever you hit them. Well, most of the time. While also trying to eliminate the slight wind-up of the hotshot gear set for survivability of having to land two consecutive headshots before getting a bit of armor back. You've probably seen similar builds like this, but I've made a few changes to cater to my own personal playstyle. It's what I think works best for me considering the items I have at my disposal. With that said, what's important to note is that you can use this variation as a template and adjust it according to your own liking. This build revolves around the hotshot gear set, which gives you more benefits as you land consecutive headshots. With that said, what better way to ensure you never miss a headshot again is by using a marksman rifle with a talent called Determine, which ensures the next shot after a successful headshot kill is a guaranteed headshot. The next piece is probably the biggest change I've applied to this build apart from other similar builds. The backpack I'm using is the Ninja Bike Backpack, which gives me the ability to get more set bonuses with various gear sets and brand sets. It basically acts as a plus one to any set you're currently wearing. The main reasons why I went for this backpack are because of the slight wind up you need with the Hotshot gear set, along with other potential bonuses of the brand sets you can wear. The Hotshot set needs at least two headshots before you can get armor back. With that, sometimes you only have one more shot separating you from life or death. That's why, as an extra piece, I chose to wear one Bellstone gear to give me an additional 10% armor on kill and 1% armor regen. And for the chest piece, I have the Chain Killer with Perfect Headhunter as a talent. For the specialization, I'm using the Sharpshooter mainly because it gives more headshot damage alongside perks that make sniping easier, like scope stability and better target acquisition. The secondary weapons and skills are completely up to you. I hope you found this transmission helpful. Good luck out there, Agent.